Hello indeed. Hi. Welcome, welcome. Hi, yeah. Welcome to the ladies having our audience. Make a series of uh, like paintings yeah. and then do different colours. And I was sticking stuff to it, the masking tape. Yeah. Then I saw the stuff on the floor, I saw the burnt out things and thought that might be more, more fun to paint like that when I use it. And so it becomes a sort of monochrome. Like yes, we added them around. <laughs> There's one there as well. But I, th I, th I think they're better than the painting. The cheeses. And then when the kids came, they were like finding them, like throwing them around. Yeah, I saw a video of like some sort of like floating drum boat machine that in the river. That might have been. In the river, yes, yeah. yes. There was a lot of very sort of people in this area. But for a while there was kind of like quite a healthy noise experimental sort of scene. In, yes. And a lot of it happened here. Really? And it kind of like we get people over from other towns and just get, you know, a reputation somewhere to come from, you know, you'd have a good time, tiny audience, but it'd be a yeah. lot of fun. Good days of improvisational jazz. You only thought you'd done well when you'd reduced your audience, ideally down to one and sometimes to zero. <laughs> yeah, I was quite disappointed when those kids came. It's like, oh, God, God, yeah, yeah they catch you off, you sell out. <laughs> they find you eventually. Even from a month ago, it seems different. Yeah. So, oh. Well, a lot of artists, including an artist called Sue Arrowsmith, who was a well known artist at one point in London worked here a lot of sculptural work. <coughs> yes. Well that had all the drums in it. Um, yeah. That had all the speakers in there, didn't it? Yeah. yeah. So we came with Helen who can't be late. Helen Kaplinska, yeah. I know her. Yeah. yeah. Relate or not relate to a um, history or a, a minor history or a contested history. Um, um, like experiment with how we use that as a starting spot to it. And I thought it's a really interesting kind of problem about how an artist who is kind of from a place but also not from a place at the same time. Did your grandma know Paul? Did she no, come here? No, no. no. But she knew it as a place. Did the first time she <laughs> guided us here. She was yes, 18 yeah. two, yeah. talking about um, like how can an artist be an artist without like trying to uh, enclose something or profit from something that's not theirs. So we spent the afternoon, um, I guess, making like impressionist paintings and uh, site specific sculptures. Yeah, a lot of it's just. Some, the more you look at it, the more it's like you know, like when we were living in Manor House, and you just like you bring junk back, and it would like slowly become art, or just be junk that was there. Like a lot of it, you can see a lot of. I like looking at this stuff because some of it, you see how it was provisionally art, or it was stuck.